Hello and welcome to Lives Your Dice. It is episode 21. My name is Matt Bateman. It's so good to have you here. And we are joined once again by the chalet bound Shami <laughs> Bundle, the snowboarding Sasha Burgoyne, the gully surfing Guy Samuels, the ridge riding Rose Redon, and always into the deep chill, Mr. David Cox. How's it going, everyone? <laughs> 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 Chamonix Chalet, I had to get like the, the shit stuff. That was La good. Yeah, last time I went chaotic for Cheryl. Chamonix is actually like a ski place. It is, yeah, yeah. <laughs> is that, is that, is you knew French? that. Not high I did, I did, I totally knew. I'm a, I'm a linguist Still. of the highest. Yeah, you of never the highest forgot quality. the word duplicate or double. Or uh, you know what, David, wrong. that's disadvantage for you for the rest of the game. There <laughs> we go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the campaign or... Just life. <laughs> I will be there at every. One. That's not what I said. You don't put those words in my mouth. Anyway, it's great to see you. We've got a lovely light episode full of fun, joyous role play. Nothing dangerous. Nothing bad is going to happen whatsoever. There isn't a big map in front of us with people worried. But before we start, as always, we have questions we throw between the cast, and because it's only fair that Shamini is guesting with us oh, for the next few times. Oh, don't worry. You don't have to come up with anything. But um, oh, I believe the rest of the team all have something they'd like to ask you. So please, I'll hand it back over to the table. <coughs> uh, bully away. Who would like to go first? I'll jump straight in. Go. What? Zask. What? Okay, in character. Oh, well, <laughs> yes! <laughs> what is the biggest academic steal of your career? Who did it to you and why? Oh, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to answer out of character. Yep, yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. Um, yeah, so um, I think Zask uh, has some issues with that, <laughs> and there was one he had. A, he had a, a sort of a theory about a historical event, an amazing theory. The thing is, he never told anyone, and he was gonna, and it was gonna be ready, um, and then someone else published. And did they go into his thoughts while he was sleeping? Break into his house and read his notes? I think that's a possibility that we should all be open to. Oh, I think that's absolutely what happened. I'm sold. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, should, we should kill him. With the Titan. <laughs> Good point. Step on them with the Titan. Ooh. Hey. Oh, it's, it's the perfect crime. <laughs> <laughs> no one would know. No one would know who was part of Like, oh, the a Titan. Like, what are you going to do? Arrest a Titan? <laughs> <laughs> Giant manacles. That's all you need, right? <laughs> Who's got the time for that? Uh, I'm sure D22 like gonna... will find a way. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to turn Zask into the villain, you know? <laughs> like... It's, it's you guys, yeah, you're the one. Have you not figured out we're the bad guys? You know. <laughs> Have we figured out we're the bad guys? No, <laughs> but we're getting there. We are, we are not the bad guys. Yes, yes, see, see. Denial. Heavily in denial. Are we the baddies? Are we the baddies? <laughs> are we the baddies? <laughs> we the baddies? Uh, let's, let's throw one more, just because just it's fair. One more. Yeah, 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 go on. Mm. Um, yeah, what, what does Zask like to do to blow off steam? <laughs> Barbecue. <laughs> relaxing barbecue. Really? Barbecue. Yeah. I would not like, call not that. Not to blow no. steam, but like to relax, yeah, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Just you don't eat. You just cook, you just cook <laughs> the food, and then hey, you know what? Great, I'm done. <laughs> Incredible. Is the kindling Barbecuing. your rival's published papers? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Books that I don't like. Yeah. Oh no, that's getting a bit. Oh. Um, <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. Papers. It's fine. Academic papers. Those <laughs> journals. The journals that rejected me. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. And and we, how, we've all done one of those. How, how much yeah. firewood is there then in that case? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. How cold is your winter? Uh, well, we're about to find out uh, because we've got some, some snow and the episode title is called Snowbound for a very reason. So, unless anyone says anything else to add or throw in anyone's direction, no, we're good. Look at these scared faces. It's going to be fine, Sasha. It's going to be just fine. I'm lying. It's going to be horrendous. And Everything's going to be fine. We've all be been great. researching how to survive avalanches and actually, yeah. surprisingly yeah. easy. It turns out they go about 300 feet a second. You can Google that. That's a true fact. With that being said, settle in. Bundle yourselves up, get a beanie, it is cold, and let's get on with episode 21 of Who Lives Who Dice. <gasps>
friends, welcome. So, last episode, our friends made some friends, discovered some enemies, um, but most importantly all discovered or perhaps were uh, happened upon by a wandering green kobold named Professor Zask. Uh, after some back and forth and some slightly differing ideas about which direction they actively wanted to take, the party soon found themselves slightly aligned on hunting down Sarek Cave Fury in the nearby mine of Frostrum. Some expeditions, fighting some worms and some terrible roles by our lovely DM uh, later on, towards the end of the day, a feeling came over that something wasn't quite right, and the party diverged for a moment to check the graveyard that had long been rumoured and mentioned by several passers-by. Towards the later end of the evening, arriving there, Mayway made a snap decision to run ahead and check on her many dying friends, uh, crucified against the setting sun on the horizon. Upon arriving and seeing an empty gravesite on an empty tree branch, seemingly created just for her, Sarah K. Fury spoke into her head, stating that she was a silly, foolish girl for walking into such an obvious trap. And now, with two large explosions happening on either side, two mountains simultaneously avalanching on either end, and the party has only a handful of seconds before a cold death awaits them. So, here's what's going to happen. Looking at the map right now, Mayway, you turn around and see in the distance, roughly 400 to 450 feet away, the dots of your friends. Alexi stepped forward slightly away from the rest, the other three standing <coughs> slightly raised up, but all of you can see these mountains coming down on top. Now the first thing I need is everyone to please roll initiative. However, Instead of standard initiative with your deck stores, I would like everyone to make a survival check, please, to know how quickly you need to respond. Oh, Don't look yes. at me like that. I need a survival yes. check for your initiative. Thank you very much. <laughs> we'll take it. <gasps> you look so smart. Fuck. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So, we're on it. We're on it. We're on it. <laughs> we're on it. <laughs> now, good, good, good. Two good dice. Good dice. <laughs> good dice. Good dice. Good dice. Good dice. Good dice. Good Cool. Good, good, 25 yeah. to 20. 20. 22. 22. Oh. Where we hear the chairs of Nate for a dirty 22. Was that a 20? Yes. 20. 20. Is okay. Is rolling initiative? <laughs> uh, can you just roll a d20 for me, please? Which one? Who's just me? you. <laughs> yes. 18. 18. All right. Avalanche goes on 18. Whoops. <laughs> cool. Oh, I also go on 18. I yeah, yeah, 18. but so you 18? So I, yeah, I'm cool. 18. Cool, uh, 20 to 18. Did anyone get higher than an 18? Cool. 15 to, so 15 to 10? 10. Nine. <laughs> this music's banging. It's Ew. good. This is Bardify on YouTube. Check them out. Uh, they're very good. Right, so the last thing. Um, given that you rolled, actually no, with highest survival score, Milo. You've recognized avalanches before, yep. given some of your previous times. I need you to roll a d4 for me, please. Oh. Two. Right. You recognize, given the pace and how large these mountains are, you have two rounds of combat before the snow is going to hit you. A handful of seconds separates you from the oncoming snow. Now. Between this, you have time to move, you have time to look around, you have time to find shelter. Between the five of you, there is a chance you can at least get out of the way to not necessarily completely escape, but at least mitigate or minimize any damage. There is snow coming from both, let's just say, the east and the west. To the north is a sheer cliff behind Mayway where things drop off. The path you came in is from the south towards this direction here. You can see quite a large rocky outcropping, but even this is probably in the later half of 200 feet away and the terrain is rough to say the least. It is not going to be a simple matter of running, but with right checks you might be able to find other debris or something to at least hide behind and take the initial brunt of the impact. Top of initiative, Alexi Karstar with the 22. Nope. Me with the 22. Sorry, the 22. <laughs> My apologies. What happens next? Yeah! Um, okay, can I tell how far um, Mayway and Alexi are from shelter? Short thing. Like um, are you looking specifically for shelter or how far they are from you? Specifically from shelter. Okay, uh, I will. You can make a survival check to ascertain that. If you want to do both, 
if you want it can be a straight roll for just Alexi, you can do it at a disadvantage if you want to do it for both of them. Because she um Mayway is quite far away and it's gonna be harder to figure that one out at about the distance you're at. Guidance. <laughs> uh oh, that's a nineteen uh initially, but it's disadvantage. That's even better, so it's a nineteen plus to 21. With a 21, uh, you do spot probably about the better part of 120 feet away, a large rock to the front where reasonably one, maybe two creatures could take sort of solace behind. You don't see anything initially nearby which can help Mayway. Almost as if this was cleared of any debris to make chances of survival minimum. Um, I will say with a 21... I have a flail. <laughs> I will say with a 21, at least from this point onwards... Hello, microphone. At least from this point onwards, the snow is quite soft. So it won't mitigate damage completely, but if Mayway were to jump and fall the many, many tens, if not hundreds of feet, because <laughs> this is not to scale, then there would be a better chance of survival than a standard fall, so to speak. Um, I'm going to say that as your action. You still have a bonus action and your movement. What happens next? Cool. In that case, Milo's going to shout, Mayway jump. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, I need you to make a perception check with disadvantage because you are missing an ear and you are half deaf. God. <coughs> That's fair. D&D's fun, guys. <laughs> oh, I rolled it. This, this dice has rolled two natural 20s in a row. Keep that one for now. Yum, 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 yum. But that total comes to a nine. With a nine, you hear yelling. You cannot make out the words from this distance. I'm sorry, but you do hear. You recognise Milo's voice over the over the over the sound with that, and it is not the snow is not that close enough that you can't quite make out what's being heard. So someone is yelling at you, but you assume it's to do with the avalanche, which you can clearly see. Yeah. Okay, that one takes two creatures. Does that look like it'll offer kind of coverage as you well? You would need to get closer at that point, point, but it would give you more height, so it might give you better a better chance at avoiding an initial hit. All right. So um, I'm so glad. I can I still, as part of my Mayway jump, I'm also going to be like. You two, get behind that rock, and then I'm going to wild shape into a horse. Okay. Which I th- oh no, can I do that as a bonus action? I don't know if I can. I, I think don't it might know. Be an I think is that a circle of the moon thing? No, I think it might be a full action. No, I think it's an action. Correct me in the well. Yeah. In that case, I'm just going to run towards that rock and hope Alexi follows me. Okay. <laughs> cool. So, sorry, towards this rock? No. So I'm told them to go to that one. Okay. Some laser pointer gonna, in here. I'm going to see what I can do. I've got vague cold I think resistance. Mila's hopefully, Mila's going like, here, right? Yes. Yeah, so I'm going to head to this here. one. Yeah and then sending yes. the other two here. Yeah. Okay, cool. So with that, uh, as I mentioned, the movement before this isn't a scale, so one space equals three steps. So mm-hmm. I'm going to be generous. I'm going to let you get down the side of the hill with cool. your movement to there. That is your turn. Uh, next in the initiative, we have Alexi. Okay, right, so... You clearly heard Myla yelling as well. Yeah, that's fine. I can see that Myla's heading to that one. She's always going to go to that one. Um, can I see... Um, Okay, so Mayway's got to jump off there, and that's still not enough time. Can I see any sort of uh, debris on the ground around there that could be used potentially? I have a paint laser pointer. Yes. Yeah, you uh, do. Around this sort of area that could be so used. So specifically on these these rocks here? Yeah, or at, around towards the bottom. At this distance, no, you would need to get closer. You can attempt a perception check with disadvantage, and it will also be a high DC. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Okay. Do you want to get closer first, which will lower the DC? Oh, do you want my natural 20 direction? No, you keep that. I don't want to take the curse. You can't have that. I would have to get a lot closer to lower it. You would need to use all of your movement to get there. Your movement, you could probably get to about there. It's not much. You could get to the base of the ramp. Maybe not even quite that. And you drop the DC by an amount. I'm going to take it at disadvantage considering the risks. Okay. Yeah. Okay, right. Um, ten. Ten? It's too far. There are some rocks jumping from that height. You're intelligent. You know, jumping from the heights, it's not the smartest move you could make. Cool. That is your action. You still have a movement and your bonus action. Oh, uh, balls. Right. Okay. Then, in that case, what Alexi is going to do is, seeing where Myler is running, he is also going to start the run towards... This. You're running towards the mound and trying to get some higher ground? Yeah. Okay, sure thing. Yeah, you see if I can see anything else from that. Mayway and the rest of you see Alexi turn tail until he starts sprinting and you've got slightly more movement, so yep. do, do, I'm gonna go there. Yeah. Good. Cool. Lovely stuff. Anything else you'd like to do? Bonus action at all? Uh, I have nothing that I could bonus action that would be useful in this. Okay. Initiative 20, round one. You both, both you all feel the rumble and you hear the 
as the snow starts to build a momentum and speed on both sides and white powder streaming to the sky starting to even reach the height of the sun as snow is bearing down on both sides. You can all feel the ground shake and quake beneath you. The rocks and the pebbles are going. It's starting to pick up. That's initiative 20. Initiative 18. Mayway. Hi. G'day. <laughs> okay. Um, do I know how much time I've got before the snow hits? Myla um, knows. Do with, I know? With a good survival roll? Yeah, I'd, I'd say you, you were able to recognize the danger pretty quickly. You know you've got it's 10 seconds maybe before it's going to reach you. It is coming quick. Okay. Uh, yeah. And I didn't hear Myla. Fuck, I don't know what to do. You heard, yeah. You didn't hear specific. You heard her yelling. I heard her yelling, yeah. yeah. So, um, I'm just going to turn towards my friends and needlessly be like, run! <laughs> <laughs> Seeing that I put it already wrong. <laughs> 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 and save your own look at look at, <laughs> like look at the graveyard full of all of my friends. Mm -hmm. Cool. And I, she's kind of fucking frozen in this moment. Um, is it more viable, like, to come to start running down the way, or to go off the side? At this point, you are quite high up that you are at least at a slight advantage with that. You would know that with your 18 survival roll and initiative. So height is a good thing for you right now. It doesn't mitigate things completely. Um, you might have a better chance being close to your friends if something does happen, such as a healer. However, that's really all you can sort of surmise at that point. All you know is that there is a wave of snow coming in this way and a wave coming this way, and it is going to meet pretty much crunch in the middle about at this point. Okay, um, bonus action. I'm gonna summon my echo. Absolutely. Um, can I? Uh, where would you like your record? So I'm going to run off the edge of this fucking thing. So just keep her there. She's going to just be next to me for a second. And then together, I'm going to take my movement. Can I take my movement to just get me off the side? So you want to jump? Uh, yeah, I'm going to. I'm going to laser pointer. <laughs> laser pointer. I'm going to try and do like this and come down this way. So, okay. Can I do that with my movement? You can do that with your movement. Are you just trying to jump, or are you trying to like scramble down and like control your descent? Um, I'll control. I'll try and control my descent. Okay, I need. Uh, happy to do that. I need an athletics check for that, then, please. Sure. Uh, as you try and stop, stop, turn. As you run across, and are you doing action dash? No, I'm just trying to see if I can if I can just take my movement to go off. Because you can, then you I'll can, use you can my... take your movement to get to go off, and you can come off the edge. Yeah, if you and want then to. I would be falling or using my action to climb down. Okay, cool. Uh, yep, I need an athletics check, please. Uh, I need a DC of 16 to hold onto the rocks and ice because it's quite slippery and quite smooth out. 19. 19. You you quickly go, you summon your racco. They're dancing, quite unaware of the danger that they're in. You come off and immediately come off the edge and your hands find purchase in a small gap in the rock and manage to catch yourself. Yeah. Your legs are dangling and it's a long way down, but at the point at this point you are holding on. Hearing the rumble get closer and closer. Yep. You still have an action. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to drop. You're going to drop? Yeah, that's not... Because I, if I can use my action, when I get down, I'm going to, like, wedge myself into the rock. I'm going to anchor myself somewhere. So okay, I'm dropping cool. down you start to drop. You have a controlled descent. We're going to say you're about there. It's going to take you another full round of action to get to the bottom without hurting yourself. If you want to let go and fall... I'm going to drop and fall. Okay. One moment, please. And the echo's just kind of going to float down. <laughs> like a, Gosh, as I go, smug, isn't she? <sighs> doesn't look that far. Exactly. What? What? Could be breaking stuff. It's scary. <laughs> DM's <laughs> doing quick maths. Huh? <laughs> DM's doing quick maths. <laughs> not the maths. Wait, no. That's not maths, maths, maths. I want to step on the maths. <laughs> no, it's. <laughs> We have advantage against being charmed, though, so it's going to be fine. <laughs> oh, that's oh, 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 thank goodness. <laughs> thank God. Also, you can't be magically put to sleep. Mm, the ground cool. coming Fucking up fast avalanche towards you. Okay. I don't know what in there. You, <laughs> you, can, sleep. You, you drop, and I will say, I will say with your athletic sheet, it is a controlled descent, so it's not just a straight fall. Um, so you are going to take 8d6 damage, but it's controlled, so it's going to be halved if you make this safe. The save. So I need an acrobatic save. Ah, uh, sorry, a dexterity saving throw, please. You've done me so good, baby. Me and you together forever. Oh, you fucking kidding me. What That's cool. I can do that. 
so it sounds like I'm you. taking a photo of this because it's Is it just ones across the it's board? It's ones and twos with a four. Yes! And I made and I think I made the save for it with a seventeen. With a seventeen you make the save. So uh, one nice. was, I said we would all be okay. <laughs> Give it a minute. Yeah. <laughs> 10, 13. Soon. Cool. You immediately fall and your hand slips, Confidence but you manage to guy. tuck and roll. Landing in this little crevice here on the back where you can't quite see and sorry the viewers at home uh, Taking six points of bludgeoning damage as you sort of land and sort of scrape your arm a little bit um, mm-hmm. But find yourself nestled about halfway down the rocks at this point Excuse me. Cool. Uh, I believe that's everything and you can I do I still have point. my action because I didn't What do you call it? <sighs> yes, you do. I dropped. Yeah, I dropped specifically. So I'm assuming that the fucking snow is gonna hit I'm going to wedge myself into the rocks there and if I need to I will take out my bow and jam it between like two rocks and drag down okay, so it's great. like I'm going to say then you're preparing an action to brace which will give you an advantage against any save you need to make if okay. and when the snow hits okay cool happy with that yep. lovely stuff good rolling bad rolling from my part not uh, a problem echo down there with me yeah cool. uh, and I actually I will move her 30 feet towards my friends Uh, can't quite do it. We're going to say here she's up here at the cool, moment. Cool, but we'll say got it. cool, fine. Right, <laughs> Professor. <laughs> Great. Um, yes, <laughs> it's an appropriate reaction. The, uh, the professor is not used to it. Everyone's having panicking. To the ground is rumbling. And this is the most danger you've ever been in your entire life. Okay, there's a moment where the Professor just whispers, "Knowledge, save us!" and tries to think of knowledge, and then anyway, <laughs> just like run over there, and he's like, oh, "I'm going to do that instead." Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> we'll like, we're like come on and, and start running. So I'm gonna cool. Which way, which way are you running? To the little rock. Yeah, you're running rock. this way here. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Are you using your full movement and action to I'm dash? I'm using my movement and my action to dash. So 60 feet. How far is that? You get to have... about. Oh, there. it's awful. And I'm gonna. This may or may not just end up being flavor, um, depending on how. I you love get, flavor. But I'm Make gonna... it tasty. Come on. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna bonus action. Cast Shield of Faith on myself. Okay. <laughs> D22, you, you watch Zask, Professor Zask, run down the hill and sort of like, like wiggling their booty a little bit and like everything sort of shimmers as they scramble down the hill towards this sort of larger rock in the distance. Mm-hmm. Cool. Anything else you'd like to do? No, thank you. D22. Are you and I going there then? There's only one for two, aren't there? Yeah. Yeah. Um. <laughs> 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 you got that face that looks like you want to make trouble. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cast um, expeditious retreat, please. <gasps> yes, when? Yeah, that's you what you want to do. <laughs> yes, oh, yeah. when? Yes. Not, not my first rodeo. Could you please um, uh, just <laughs> let me know what that spell effect does? <laughs> <laughs> What's uh, a natural twenty guy? What's a crit guy? <laughs> <laughs> Still one of my favorite, my favorite moments. Uh, uh, <laughs> Where did you find it? Nineteen. Incredi- incredible pace. What, do, what kind of bonus do I get? Uh, I think it's triple movement, basically. Yeah. And Expedition. dash is a bonus action. Yeah, which yeah. makes yeah. triple movement for a thing. You action, right. bonus action, movement. This spell is you move in incredible place when you cast a spell, and then as a bonus action, you can you can take the dash action. So you can you can basically move double your speeds, um, for the net, and you can move triple your speed from your next turn. So you can run sixty feet this turn, and then ninety feet for the every round wow, after that. So, yeah. So. Yes, it enacts those magical legs. Um, also, I have a question. I can't. I was, I was googling it whilst uh, well, the couple of uh, last wheels come out of the bottom of D twenty two's feet. Wheelie shoes, wheelies. D twenty two on Heelys, just yeah. just like yeah. so cool. and little rockets. <laughs> yeah. He's actually like moonwalking back, like on the Heelys. <laughs> like. Um, obviously, obviously, my homunculus servant can't offer me any kind of levitation or floating. Can he? No. I'm too heavy, aren't no. I? No. I googled it. Yeah. <laughs> I could have told. I could have told you that. I appreciate it. Appreciate yeah, yeah. it. Give it. Give it a few more levels, and we'll see what we can work <laughs> out. Give yourself a little like propeller hat. Exactly. When, when yeah. D twenty two cast by. Anyway, sorry. This is by the by. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I'm gonna, in fact, uh, e- e- expeditious forward motion, please, towards the rock. So you're 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 with his ask. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. You, you moonwalk your way down, and you're there. Cool. Right. Top of initiative. Hello. With a dirty twenty two. Talk to me. Um, I'm just going to keep running towards that rock. Cool. Um, and at the same time, if I can, would like to try and perceive any part of it that is particularly good for hiding in. Okay. Ideally, two people, but not necessary. So. <laughs> 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 
Hey, hey. You don't know. You don't know she said that. No, I don't. That, but David does. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know which of us I'm going to hide in it. Aww. It's me. So <laughs> you're perceiving. <laughs> you're perceiving this snow mound. Yep. Okay. Now it's you can. Oh, it's a snow mound. Like yeah, I thought it was a rock. Oh, I thought it was a rock. Yeah. Good. It's a. It's a pile of snow. God at this, at this damn point. it. Well, we're dead. Um. Cool. I'm, in that case, I'm just like, well, shit. Um, Did you want to turn into anything? Or are you just running towards no, it? No, no, no. We're somehow? running towards it now. The turning into a thing will be something else. Um, yeah. Is there? Can I see anything around it? Does there look like there's any anything? As I'm desperately sprinting towards what is now a pile of fucking sure, snow. Sure. Make. You're not looking for anything. So make a perception check uh, as you're running. Straight roll. Cool. Yeah, yeah. That's fine. That's um, also plus eight. Great. Uh, <laughs> 15. 15. With a 15, you do notice a couple of rocks still sort of scattered about. Big enough. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> to no! murder out of nowhere! Alexi is taken out. Run down, me! And no one remembered Alexi cut stuff. Oh, fuck <laughs> yeah. Remember me as I live! Teach me too, dude. Thanks, <laughs> man. Anyone that listened, you'd tell them in front of Alexi S- cut Somewhere, off. somewhere, a, a sister cast off just... <laughs> Feel good today. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, David. Uh, um, cool. You do see a couple of rocks on either Andrew. side, big enough for one person. Yeah. Which you might. Have, yeah. In that case, yeah, I'll keep running towards the one that's closest. Okay. Yeah, and try and I'll and I'll be gesturing for Alexi to come with me. Okay. Just want to point out, snow is coming from this way and this way. So, where do you want to? What so it's side coming the... from this way, like there and there, right? <laughs> and, and. Yeah. Okay. So we probably want to be like, round the back of it. Round the back. Sure. Are you using action and? Are you dashing, or how are you? Uh, so I just want. So I want, if I use my movement, would I get there? No, not quite. Okay, in that case, yeah, we'll just have to. We'll have to dash. Okay, cool. Do and I'll get round behind do, it. Do you get to about there? You're not quite there with your movement on that run. Chris is. Um. Well, that's it. That's where we are. Cool. I, there's, I mean, there's not much more I can do. I might just shout like, "Alexi, get behind!" Like, yeah, "Alexi, get behind here!" Um, as much as I can, and um, or actually, no, it'd be um, "Alexi, get close to me." That's what we want to do. Okay, Alexi, you hear this loud and clear? The ground is rumbling. What are you doing? <laughs> um, I'm gonna destroy oh, okay. that set. I can just. I'm, they're all gonna come tumbling down. I mean, he is. <laughs> Yeah, he's gonna run to Myla. Uh, action, dash, and if at all possible, um, as I'm running, is there anything I can kind of find on the sprint? A perception that- check to do so. <laughs> yeah, is yeah. that my action? Any loot? Uh, I didn't make it an action. So if you're just like, gl- if you want to do a proper search, it's an action. If you want to have like a glance around to spot a rock, it's a perception check. Uh, more like, is there any like debris that I can make into some kind of shield for as I'm running for You tomorrow. want to specifically look for that, it's going to be a survival check and that is going to be your action to do so. Uh, then I will instead just dash towards Myla and if you will allow it, Alexi is going to go into his pack and retrieve a rope. Okay, cool. Uh, so that's 70 feet because you're 35 foot of movement? That's correct. Correct, cool, lovely. So, 15, 30. Oh yeah, just to check Matt, because we're we're before the avalanche in initiative, we're going to get one more like go before it Maybe. hits. Maybe. Hopefully. Maybe not. Hopefully. Probably. There's one way to find out. Hopefully. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I really hope so. 15, 30, yeah, me too, because I just 15, remembered 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, what I planned to do, and I completely forgot. And you're pulling a rope out of your pack. Moment, you're about realize. 30 feet away from that rock at this point. That's fine. Cool. Anything else you want to do? That's with the pulling the rope and everything. I'm saying that's everything cool. I can do. Cool. All right. The rumble's getting yes, loud. Yes, it happened. Oh, <laughs> my friends! No. I mean, that would that would make sense. Those would start to fall apart. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Is it my turn? It's your turn, as you know the avalanche is going to hit imminently. You can hear the roar of the snow. You now see the powder coming in. It's starting to seep across, rolling through. Mere seconds remain before this avalanche is going to hit. Mayway, what happens next? Fabulous. I'm going to reach into my pack and I will unclip the head of my flail yeah. and put the head into my pack and take my rope out and tie my rope to the end of my chain. Absolutely. And then anchor the other end of the rope to an arrow. Cool. I'm going to hold on to the bow, and if I go and the bow goes with me, I've got an anchor point to shoot forward into something. Okay, what I will say, it's going to be a full action to do that. Yep. Uh, if you're doing this as a reaction, if you're preparing that, I'm going to allow that, but you're going to make that roll at disadvantage. 
what, when I get swept away? If, if, if you I, get swept, if I get swept if you get, away, if you get swept away, because uh-huh. you've still you've still locked yourself in, so there's gonna be a chance to save against that. But if you're trying to like fall back and make that shot, because you've already used the full action to do that, it's gonna be a reaction at disadvantage to try and make that shot. Well, it's more that I'll make the like I'll make a save to not fall or not to be swept away or not swept away. Yeah. And then as I'm being carried away with the snow, my next action will be to move, uh, so I don't need to okay. use that as a okay. reaction. Okay, understood. All right, never mind. Ig- ignore me then. Snow. DFI. Um, Echo, can if I move her thirty feet up? Is she going to hit the top of the ledge? She will not hit the top of the ledge. And also, if she is more than 30 feet away from you at the end of your turn... Yeah, so that's she, what I'm she, saying. If 30 feet up, all right. Yeah. Um, in which case... Oh, fuck. How far away is she from me now? Uh, she's um, she's at 30 feet. She's at the edge of your range. Okay, fine. Stay where she is. Cool. All right. You can move her up or down if you want to. No. Okay, not a problem. Fine. Yeah, just hunker down with my thing. But now there's, like, rope and my chain are all tied together so that I have a backup plan for if I don't manage to hold myself Great stuff. in place. All right, Professor. <laughs> Still running. Still running? <laughs> full full movement? Dash? Um, action dash? Will that, will that take me there? <laughs> I'm not uh, sure it will. It, it won't quite, but it depends what D22 does. Yeah. I, oh, yeah. yeah. That's all, I mean... Oh. You have the keys to a titan that he wants. I know, but we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> um, Other D&D shows are available. Uh, <laughs> yeah, because I could also... No, I don't think Zask would. I'm just going to run. I'm just going to run. You're just going to run? Yes. Okay. I'm just going to use my action to dash. Cool. Still scrambling, still the shield of faith up, which will make an impact. Oh, thanks. One, two, three. Gets you to about there. You can see it. <laughs> Let's find out. D twenty two. Yeah, I'm gonna keep keep running, please. Um, am I able to pick Zask up on the way? So or, or, you've got or, ninety or, feet or, of or, movement mm-hmm. with your expeditious retreat. Uh, How far away am I from the? You're probably about ninety feet at the moment. So what I will say, Perfect. you you can and you can throw yourself, but it is going to make it a higher DC if you're using that for shelter when the snow hits. <laughs> you are loving this music. <laughs> so you can get there and have a higher chance of survival by yourself, or you can do it with Zask and have a lower chance of survival. You are smart enough to know that. I've got, I've got, I've got, I've got to do, I'm sorry. If it were me, I would say what help you do. <laughs> got that belt got, buckle got, as well got, that you got, gave me. I've got to be to the character, Remember? and I'm just running for the cover. Okay. Yeah. Professor, you watch as... <laughs> This this on 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 wheelies or roller boots just just, just r- rocketing past all the way and immediately you hunker down and you brace yourself against the rock. Cool. Is there anything else you would like to do? I mean yeah. that is that is your action movement and bonus action to do that to get all that distance in one go. All good then. Okay. Um, I just look down to the ground slightly awkward that I've just gone past. <laughs> <laughs> You do. You can look. Hello, over here. How's your um? I just kind of just do a When I'm dead, up. you can get all the stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah they're it's all, just like they're all coming. It's going beep, beep, beep. beep it's just, it's just, just pointing you, just a bright red. Like I'm <laughs> so ashamed of you. <laughs> <laughs> Needs to be charged. Snooze, snooze, snooze. <laughs> Top of initiative. Ground, Master's gonna fucking break. <laughs> the ground rumbles and like no, not quite. <laughs> People's elbow. Mere seconds. However, because you both rolled so well in initiative, Myla and Alexi still have one more turn each before the snow hits. All right. Myla's going to use her movement to get round the back of that rock, but she's going to leave enough space for Alexi to be between her and the rock. Okay. And then she's going to turn into a seal. Okay. If you have a seal, there is your... I don't know. If I, oh, yeah. I don't think there's a tropical seal. <laughs> but seals... <laughs> Right, let's okay. So, so you run around. Not a problem. Uh, you you broke you broke Charmony. What is, what is this? <laughs> what is this? Would you like a hippo? Please. Uh, if someone else wouldn't mind, I can't quite I reach can't, that yeah, far. Def- None of us could reach it. This map is too big. Great catch. Thanks, man. <laughs> just wonderful. Thank you. Um, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna take Milo for a minute. Okay. Yeah, sure. I mean, she's not there anymore. Um, so the main thing is is that seals can hold their breath for 15 minutes. Oh, you. Oh. Look at you. Good to know. Good to Zoological know. Zoological facts. Now that's what I'm here What is the HP of a seal? 
Uh, the HP of a seal is nine, but it's just going to add to mine. It's got an AC that's very similar to mine. Okay. Primarily, I'm just hoping it might survive in my like. If you wouldn't mind just yeah. WhatsApping me the link to that stat block, please, just Absolutely. so I've got that in front of me. Absolutely. Okay. Alexi, you watch Myla dart around behind the rock, leaving enough space, and immediately turn into, I'm assuming, a blue and white seal. Yeah, I'd like to pretend I'm surprised, but Alexi isn't. <laughs> um, okay, uh, and Alexi, prepared for this, is going to run to the space that Myla has uh, created, and with the rope he took out, is going to, because obviously we'd get separated in Avalanche, times after the seal. <laughs> Make me blubbery seal, and you're like yep. lifted it up and tying it around. Is that really <laughs> seal? Is that really fat <laughs> seal as well? I'm I love that seal. I, I know you don't like being touched, and I'm tying around to a seal. This is this is what uh, the seal looks like. <laughs> oh no, I'm getting a fat oh, seal. Oh, you're cute seal. Is it blue? I mean, yeah, yeah I'd say it's like blue, sort of spotted, and yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. All good. Did you think this is what the game would turn into when I emailed you all those years ago? <laughs> <laughs> I love you on my D and D show where, um, uh, you know, there's a seal and that's that's it. Okay. Well, that ties I, 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 to I, a seal. I have no complaints. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm assuming that will take my entire turn. That will take your entire turn to yep. do so. Um, just because I need to be fair, I need you to make a dexterity check just to see how well you tie the knot That's under duress in these dying seconds. <laughs> Completely understandable. Okay, don't My screw love. me over, fuck die. That oh! fucked me over. Well done. Oh, um, no. Dexterity check. Mm -hmm. That's going to be a seven. With a seven. Uh -oh. With yeah. a seven, you slip a little bit. Yes. You manage to get a rope around the seal because you do have, like, the seal is willingly being tied up. That is the best. Oh, please, please. Can you just put that on Instagram yeah, right now? Uh, <laughs> just tweet that, someone. Uh, cool. You get the rope around. Send it to the social media. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so good. You get the rope around. It's yeah. not very tight. But there is a rope keeping you two together, but we'll see how it holds based on what happens Arms as well. next. <laughs> <laughs> I apologize for hugging you. Oh, no, it's all good. You're just going to get some real fishy breath in your face. Aww. I didn't realize it was their first date, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> right. Initiative 20. The avalanche finally arrives. Yeah. We're going to work down in the order as it comes, and because we had the two highest there first... Um, actually, no, we're going to do this based on distance. So, with that being said, we're going to start with D22 and Professor Zask. So... Um, sorry, man. <laughs> cool. Thank you, and thank you. One more, please. We, what, we what? just what? gave her a tankard. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I've got a tankard. It's gonna be like the hero. It says right. Right. Well, Hopefully, hopefully that's. It won't for much longer. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Pete. You're crossing that out. <laughs> I've got a screw. We'll just scribble it out and just write. Yes. Thank rip you. Instead. I appreciate that. The ground rumbles, the snow hits, and pours over, and almost in an instant, <laughs> everything is covered instantly white. You two are both immediately hit. Um, with the rock, you have some cover, so it's going to be a lower DC for you. I need strength saving throws from both D22 and Professor Zask. Thank you. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's, um, that's a thing. It's not very strong. This is such a tense shame. moment, but I can't get over the round seal. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Alexi just got 16. Like 16. Yeah. Nine. Okay. I'm going to let you make a, de a dexterity check with <laughs> disadvantage <laughs> to see if you make it to D22 in time to not be completely swept away. Mm -mm. I've got my helm out. Dex check with disadvantage. Straight roll. It's, late, yeah. Yeah. it's, it's too late. It's too late. It's too late. Dex check, disadvantage. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm going to roll again, but the first one was a two, so... Uh, two. With a two, you slip, and D22, you turn, you put your arm out to immediately see a massive wave of snow fly up and send Zask flying and be picked up. I'm gone! Zask, how, much hit, how many hit points do you have? Not enough! 21. 20, is that it? Yeah. What? Th 21? Yeah. Uh, I'm only level I'm three. I'm only little... <laughs> Are you a, what? Are you a you, sorcerer or something? Oh, I'm not a cleric. You got no six. You're Sorry, I'm killing you. players over here, mate. I'm a cleric. I'm a cleric. I knew you were a cleric. I right. cast oh. shield of faith just now. That was the giveaway. Oh no, I knew it before. Oh, did you? Oh, well, no, I guessed. Uh, knowledge cleric was what? <laughs> it's okay. I'll catch you if you get swept out my way. Zask. I mean, I think it'll be that way, right? Immediately. It's crushed. You are knocked unconscious. 
taking 23 points of bludgeoning damage. <laughs> and you are swept up into the air. D22 with a 16. I need you to make a dexterity saving throw to not be swept away, please. Sorry, another strength set. So you've, you've braced another. for it, so it's going to be half damage. So yeah. you take 11 points of bludgeoning damage, but I need you to make another strength save to also not be swept away as you try and hold onto the rock. You also immediately, <laughs> you brace, but Calma. it keeps coming, and it that keeps coming, and it yeah. keeps coming, and you are also swept away. We will come back to you later on. The next two. Now you have a smaller rock, so strength saves with disadvantage. One and two. Stats of a steel, please. Thank you. Stats of a seal. Um, <laughs> strength uh, saves. It's really grip, grip onto the rock with your, with your flippers. It was a deck save, right? This will be yes. fine. All right, yeah, cool. No, strength oh. save. Strength save. Oh. Strength save. This is, to, this is to the withstand the brunt of the snow Where as it hits luck? you. Where do all your luck go? <gasps> yeah, it's a nat 20. Okay. <laughs> okay. This is a five. Right. <laughs> David, how are you You're going to be choking the seal. And like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just putting all my dice shit. in jail. <laughs> Smaller rock, net 20. It's okay. Not going anywhere. Right. <laughs> the seal is planted. <laughs> so, here's what's going to happen. Um, it's 11 points of bludgeoning damage for you. It's five for you. With the rock, you've got a bit more. With a net 20, we're rewarding that. I'm so you're doing okay. Don't the worry, there's more damage to come. Oh, we're not shit. done yet. Oh. Um, I need... With a net 20, you are sitting pretty. I need you to make another strength saving throw to see if you're going to be swept away now. Because you are tied to a big fat seal, you can make this at advantage. Mm. However, if you fail, you're going to be swept away and it's going to be up to whether or not the knot was strong enough, whether Milo goes with you. So strength saving throw, disadvantage. Advantage, sorry. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Do it for the fat seal. <laughs> Come on. I'm a dead weight. <gasps> uh -oh. oh, no. We're all dying, aren't no. we? Advantage. Yeah. Oh, advantage. Did Advantage. Okay. Yeah. Still not good. Would you? Okay. Oh I thought it was disadvantage. Terrible. It was a one and eight. Why is the jail always full of your stuff? <laughs> Myla, you hold on and you watch as Alexi tries to hold and holding the rope. And it's tied around you and you're like quite plump and happy. Hmm. Um, I'm going to give you one reaction, one chance to try and make a strength save at disadvantage to... Sit on the rope that it doesn't send Alexi away. It's a very high DC. You need to roll at least a 19. Ugh, bulk, bulk, bulk. Come Otherwise, on. This, this boy is going flying. Come on, bulky seal. Bulky seal. Think dead weight. Sack of potatoes. Come on, seal. 14. That was a disadvantage, wasn't it? Yes. Eight. Cool. All right. The rope slips and Alexi. <laughs> TPK. Well, not me. No, mine was fine. <laughs> there we go. Carry on the name. I'm sitting fat, pretty seal. <laughs> What's the team name? Fat, pretty seal. Yeah, it is seal. now. It is now. FPS. FPS. Right. Seal. Strength saving throw with advantage, please, my way. As you nestle yourself in the rock, brace yourself. Yeah, and you've got a bit of cover as well. Oh yeah, and she's like, she's panicking and holding on. She's like saying all the names of her yeah. friends that are up there and saying like. You found yourself in quite a good area. You've got a bit of rock cover, so there's less snow coming your way. So it's going to be a lower DC for you. But I still need you to make a strength save at advantage. <laughs> Thank you for the advantage. Strength, you say. Strength save. Twelve. I rolled a one and a ten. Cool. Despite holding on and everything, it comes up and there are bits of rock and debris caught in there. You're going to take the full brunt. You take a full 23 points of bludgeoning damage as the snow comes in and you are crashed against the wall as snow and you are pummeled and slowly being pushed out. And you can make another strength saving throw straight roll to not be swept away completely. Sarek, I'm going to bring you to the Val. Uh, 16. 16. With a 16, you manage to just hold on, <gasps> snow pummeling you and hitting you and hitting you, burying you up and up and up and up and up. Your friends all wiped out. You hear a soft shout of a familiar voice as the snow begins to bury you of a long lost friend before it. <sighs> and a scream to the heavens. And it's gone in an instant, taken over by the sound of the snow and the wind. Top of initiative. The snow's still coming. Strength safe. Think, heavy, think, heavy, think, heavy, oh, shit. No. Well, the seal's gone, it's a four. It's a four. I'm a seal. You take five points of bludgeoning damage. Milo takes one Because the initial brunt is now hit. Oh, 
up, I see you. Yeah. Uh, you also take an additional oh, God damn it. three points of cold damage. I'm halved. Thank so you. you take initial one point of cold damage. So I take Thank you for changing damage. them back. Goodness, your resistance to cold damage. Alexi, Hello. you are being swept away, banded through. I need you to make a dexterity saving throw, please, with disadvantage to try and guide yourself to not be smacked into a big rock. Do you want, do you want to Nah. Thank okay. You. Thank you, though. Uh, with disadvantage. Oh. That's what I said. That was so nearly like, Bollocky what? No. Fuck nuggets. That's a nine. With a nine, you fail. So you're going to take an additional point of bludgeoning and cold. Uh, you take an additional 12 points of damage, eight points of bludgeoning, four points of cold. As you're smacked against a rock and now you're being pushed in, four points of cold damage as the snow begins to bury you and pile in on top. <gasps> um, cool. The avalanche is still pouring through, but starting to ease now slightly. Uh, we are now in the next round of initiative. Mayway. Um, I'm buried you are in now, You are now buried and being pushed against. Uh, I need you to make a strength saving throw, please, to withstand the now easing bludgeoning damage of the snow. Uh, okay. 13. 13. 13, that's a fail. Uh, you take an additional three points of bludgeoning damage and now uh, one point of cold damage that's already halved um, as the snow begins to bury you. Uh, cool, we'll come back to you in a second. 10. Um, okay. Um... Cool. Sorry, was that not my turn? Oh, you're still up. Yeah, you said Apologies. Mayway yes. and then... Uh, yes, Mayway. Sorry, I was doing another roll. We'll ignore that. Yep, cool. You take the damage you're now being buried and being pushed against at this it's point. Yeah. Is there cool. anything you would like to do? Um, yeah, I'm... Uh, bonus action, I'm going to summon my Echo next to me. Send her 30 feet up. Okay. And trade places and see if that gets me above into air. <gasps> you can do that! Yeah. yeah. You, you swap. You find yourself just above. There's still snow piling it above you, but it's about 10 foot now coming up. You sort of up in the air and you start to fall, yep. now landing on the snow again. So good. We'll come back to you in a second. That's such good avalanche oh, defense. As long Great. as you know which way's up. Ah, uh, this is now gone for now. That's amazing. Cool. Uh, sorry, apologies. I'm just going to roll the death save for you. Oh no, it's fine, it's fine. Okay. You carry on. Cool. D22. May I cast a spell? Uh, in a second, strength saving throw, please. Uh, no, sorry, <laughs> dexterity saving throw with disadvantage as you try to not get smacked against a rock. Disadvantage? Yep. No, oh, Jesus. Fuck. It's a nine. It's a nine, that's a fail. Uh, you take four points of bludgeoning damage and an additional two points of cold damage as you're also hit against a rock, a smaller rock than what Alexi got, but still, you're being bandied about a little bit as the snow begins to ease. <laughs> sorry, cool. DM. I made a mistake. I summoned my echo to me and transferred my spaces, both of those are bonus actions. Would she have been able to make it above from the place that she was? I'll allow it. Okay. Yeah, cool, not a problem. So you're not out of the woods yet, but yeah, yeah, thank, yeah thanks yeah, for just, looking just out. Just I appreciate I, that. I think the stream might be down. Oh. <laughs> maybe, maybe not, I could be talking to people still. Nate! Thanks, Nate! <laughs> are, we, are we good, Nate? Okay. Wait, the stream's down? Yeah, I've got it up here. Yeah. Get us off. That's a bit delayed, I think, at the moment. Yeah, it's yeah. delayed, isn't it? Yeah. It's good. Two seconds, please. Yes, yeah, sorry. No problem. So if we're not Dave up... Dave messaged to say it was, oh, it was down. bless him. Legend. Bless him. Um, Can I run to get a beer, do you think? I drank my beer yeah, so quickly, I was stressed. Can you get me a Fanta? <laughs> <laughs> Could you get me a blood orange cider? No, oh, my God, no, guys. no. This is drinks orders <laughs> during the <laughs> technical <laughs> issues. They'll never know. They'll never be. We're gonna get back with the drinks before the man It's fine. The stream's gonna go up, and we're all gonna be here going. Just get the drinks. I would like, I would like <laughs> on the rocks, on the rocks. <laughs> I feel like Alexi is on the rocks. Yes, exactly. Yeah. yeah. The big yeah. Rocks. You need to be staying off the rocks. That's your problem. That is my problem. Yeah, it is. It's so often my problem. The fat seal was so good. The fat seal was wonderful, and, and you survived ruined the whole it thing. by being a puny army. <laughs> Seals don't even have arms. <laughs> sort of this. What a oh, what, you hero what a movement. Moving. Appreciate that. Thank you, darling. <laughs> Just everyone had the drinks. I don't think Matt even noticed I left the room. I assume we're at the woods now. We're back. Hey. Apologies, everyone. Broadband. No one, uh, right. What? Yeah, everything's great. Absolutely nothing right. happened. Nothing where, happened. where, where were we? Sorry, we were at Danger Town. Danger Town. Cool. Right. May I cast? Yes, it is now your turn. 
Yeah, am I able to cast shield, please? Uh, nice. You you can. Hmm? I just get plus five on my on my. Um, cool. Um, I will say shield is an AC based thing, so it's designed to block direct attacks on you. And I would not cast shield. Cool. So it wouldn't it wouldn't help you in this case. I just don't want you to waste a slot. Yeah, that's cool. Right. I appreciate that. Top of initiative. The snow has now subsided. It is now passing. The initial brunt is gone. At a round of twenty-two, um, I need you to make a. No, we're good now. Uh, Myla, you take six points of cold damage, half to three, uh, as about a quite a large number of snow has buried you above. Uh, you are now free to move as you wish. Um, cool. So I'm buried under. You some are snow. currently buried under a lot of snow at this point. Yes. Okay. But you are conscious and well aware of everything else. Going first on. things first. Time to spit in some snow. Yes! <laughs> spit in the snow! This is, the, this is the real advice, people. <laughs> genuine, spit in the snow. Genuine avalanche advice. Avalanche skills. I'm going to spit to find out whether I'm... Which way is up. Okay. It's very disorienting. Bonus it, action spit? No, bonus just, action it just, it's a free, 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 <laughs> free action spit. Spitting That's completely free fine. Spitting game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> make, make a freeze of that as you will. <laughs> cool. Which way is up? Uh... <laughs> that way, I guess. <laughs> you, you spit, and the spit immediately it comes out and down your chin, and then freezes on your chin a little bit. Oh, but you know, no. gravity is. Oh, that's good. The okay, direction. Too upright. This is great. Cool. Uh, make an athletics check to try and bury yourself. Uh, to unbury yourself. Sorry. Unburying. Um, guidance. <laughs> Just Go for it. Constant guidance. Just to see how much movement you get. Oh, um, fifteen plus two plus. Ooh. Cool. Uh, with that, you get half movement up. You manage to dig yourself up. Not all the way up, but you're, you're at a good point so far. Cool. You start to move your way up. Cool. Alexi. Uh, right. Uh, you are going to take an additional six points of cold damage yeah. um, as you have finally stopped and the, the weight of the snow now bared upon you with those bad dexterity said you are quite far down buried. Mm. Um, so you can attempt to make a check to try and dig yourself up. The longer it takes, the more damage you're going to take as you stay in the snow. Uh, yeah, I'd like to do that, please. Cool, go for it. Um, um, what am I rolling? Uh, you want an athletics check to try and dig yourself out, unless you want to come up with something creative. You've got full action, bonus, movement, everything. Yes, I do. I'm going to use the um, sun and moon shield mm -hmm. and um, light it up. Great. In what direction uh, does it look like the light? It, does it is, does the light look like it's escaping easier in any direction? Uh, make a perception check for me, please. <coughs> Fucking hell! What house, the hell too. has happened to your rolling? You don't know. All right, you then. are surrounded by snow and it's getting cold and it's getting heavy. You can still feel a bit of movement up on top. Not enough to like hit you, but it's not looking good. Right, then I'm just gonna go up towards the movement. Thank you. Cool. Yeah. Sweet. What, what do you move on? Uh, yeah, I need an athletics check to try and dig yourself out, please. It's a whopping plus zero. Fourteen. <laughs> Fourteen, you begin to dig, you get about 15 feet up. Okay. Cool. All right. Yep. Um, and just for future reference now, I have a blazing sun on my arm. Great. Good to know. Yeah. Cool. Um, right, you teleported cool. yourself up to 30 feet, so um, Mayway, you're going to start by falling. Uh, you're going to take an additional seven points of bludgeoning damage. As you Unconscious. Land. Okay, you land unconscious in the snow. I was just about on to top, On top of the snow as it comes to rest. That's all the HP I had left. You were lying... Fuck. ...with your head against the rock. Oh. Sorry. But you are, for all intents and purposes at least at this point, safe. But I wanted to find my friends and heal myself we'll and see all what the happens. other things. Cool. Next initiative. This feels mean. <laughs> no! Not Shamani! <laughs> okay. <gasps> Shamani, Zask. <Yeah>. You cough. <laughs> and your mouth is immediately full of snow. <laughs> Another nat 20. I'm gonna suffocate. God bless Matt and his nat 20 sometimes. You are sometimes. up with <laughs> one HP. Now, because you're the first to get hit, um, I will say, you're quite light. Make a dexterity check for me to see if you landed in the snow or you got flipped up on top of the snow. If you roll well enough, I'll make this favourable. If you don't, well, you're going to be unconscious again in a second. Yay! <laughs> Come on, you can do it. One we believe point. in you. Good One vibes. Point. Good vibes. Come on. Good vibes, guys. Vibes. Everyone. Vibes. Good vibes. vibes. <gasps> That's from Frenchie. Yes! Yes! Yeah. 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 You awake. Yeah. 
still in about three, four foot of snow, feeling it settle around you, but you, you cough and you sputter. You are up with one hit point. You have your full turn available to you. This dice. I'm going to stop rolling this for death saves because I want more character death. Oh, <laughs> carry on. You can't oh, kill the guest. <laughs> you could, and he would. I want one person to die one today. One person has to die today. <laughs> it's We're not out of the woods yet. Yeah, I was going to say. Um, and it's You're my turn. And I, now I have to make cho- choices. You I'm, are... I'm practically dead. Okay, I'm healing myself. I'm healing myself. Okay. <laughs> I'm like... <laughs> I was like, what do I want to do? I'm like, heal, heal! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm going to try and cast Healing Word at second level. Great, you can do that. Bonus action, you can heal yourself. Upon myself. Um, can, can I look around? Just where am I? Sure, make a perception check. Okay. Um, you stand up blurry eyed, rubbing snow out of your eyes, and look around the wilderness. Um, Your head's still ringing, you, you look, but it's just snow know. settling ever, ever. You can still see the powder in the air. So it almost looks, there's so much, it looks like a fog almost on the horizon in the distance. At this point, you don't really know where you are or what you're doing. Your head is ringing and you are freezing cold. That is all you know at this point. I, I am gonna, I am gonna, um, just until I get my head together, I'm just gonna sit down and just curl up into a ball and try not to freeze to death for the next <coughs> round. Yes, okay, me. we'll give me going constitution saves in your next round as well to Great. deal with that. Okay. D22, what are you doing? Um, depends where I am, to be honest. Where, what am I, uh, am I, has the snow stopped around me? Uh, the snow is now eased up, so first of all, we're gonna make, give you some cold damage. Uh, you. you take five points of cold damage. Jesus. As it settles into your joints, you begin to stiffen up. Um, make a dexterity saving throw the same as Zars <laughs> to see where you've landed specifically, because you didn't roll too badly. Sorry, okay. A dex, did you say? Dex, please. Sure. Twelve. Twelve. Okay, twelve. It's not too bad. It's pretty high for what I'm running today. Though. Yeah, it's not. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. All right. With that being said, then you are going to be. Uh, you are you are buried in the snow, at this point. You can attempt to try and dig yourself out if you want. Uh, yeah. We need an athletics check to do so, only, unless you want to do anything creative to try and help yourself out. You've still got action, bonus action, all that good stuff. I would like to. I don't think what you'd let me have, which gives me the biggest bonus modifier. <laughs> <laughs> you come with a good idea, I'll, I'll let it roll. I have one. I have one. So in a bag of holding, in my chair, in a chest, is a fire breathing potion. <gasps> you fucking legend. Okay. I'm going to try and shimmy in the snow. I can control my insides quite Sure, well. sure. It's, it's part shimmy, of you. I'll, I'll allow it. up in there. <laughs> And try to somehow, I don't know how, but somehow consume it, whether it's down my organic, my fake throat or whatever. You sort of like mechanically try and like. But as a TP go. I'm going to make you roll a. just a general dexterity check, just to see if you can make it work, because you're still full of snow. Okay. It's not a high DC, but I, I, I can't just let you <laughs> off that easily. 16. 16. With a 16, you manage to find it and. <laughs> potion of fire breathing in your hand. Amazing. I'm just going to blast 360 around my body. I okay. Uh, it's it's a cone. Um, with your intelligence, I'm going to let you you know the distance to go. Uh, sure, make make a... Um... Oh my god, what if you set Alexi on fire? <laughs> <laughs> You'll know about it quickly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, remember that time you set me on fire? It's someone else's like turn. I'll do, I'll be yeah. honest. Cool. Uh, roll 46 fire damage, please. 46. To see how much you actually like. Oh my god, crack those great To so how much you set Zoss on fire. definitely a stress eating <laughs> moment. Oh, I can't stress eat. Six, seven, ten, fourteen. Fourteen! So, Zask, Professor, you see about 100, 150 feet away, this plume of fire Pah! come out and you immediately melt and just water rains down on you. You are in a pit about 60 feet deep, but at this point you are out of the snow. You still need to get out, but you are... Suffice to say, safe for this point. Beautiful. Top of initiative. Uh, con- uh, you take one point of cold damage. Is that already in the snow. Yeah, oh, well, I was. I rolled a one. It's minimum one damage. Yeah, cool. cool. Right, fine. Uh, athletics check to dig yourself out, please. Alrighty. Um, can I like see daylight at this point? Yeah, yeah, you, yeah, yeah. You absolutely can. Okay, cool. So yeah. Uh, 
Yeah, 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 fine, let's do that then. Um, cool, so that was athletics check, wasn't it? Yes. Guidance. Um, <laughs> ah, just rolled that somewhere. Uh, six, seven, eight... Uh, 12. 12. Cool. Uh, with the 12, you managed to just push yourself out and get just to the very top. Cool. At this um, point. Can I see anyone around me? Make a perception check. Mm-hmm. Uh, 20, dirty. Dirty 20. With a dirty 20, you don't see anyone at this point. You see lots and lots of snow and distant mountains and settling dust. If only all I'd around. guidance myself, that would have been slightly over 20. <laughs> As guidance, an action or a bonus action to cast? Uh, I think it's, a it's an action. I think action. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna say that it's your, oh, yeah. it's your um, everything then. Yeah. yeah. Cool. It's an action. Yeah. So I couldn't have done it anyway. Lovely stuff. Not a problem. All right, Alexi. Athletics again. Athletics again. Hang on. Uh, five points of cold damage yeah. as you're still in the snow. Uh, I'm gonna use my inspiration to give me an advantage with this. That's completely fine. Because you're a walking natural twenty to me. <gasps> Eleven. Eleven. Okay. That one was a one. Uh, you get you rolled so many ones almost to the top. Mm-hmm. You're still in the snow, but mm. you're definitely getting closer. Okay. Cool. That's it. Right. No way. No, not a music. Why is there a music <laughs> change? Because we are out of the initial danger. We are. <laughs> are we? Fabulous. Initial danger. danger. Yeah, Mary's unconscious. Initial, so. initial danger. I'm in danger. Because there is no one else. Ar- because there is no one else around, and there's no point in me rolling death saves. Oh. If other people made a game, I'm gonna let you roll your own death save. Oh my god, really? Roll a death save, please. There's no one there to like immediately come and help you, so there's no point in me. It's to stop other people from like metagaming that unconsciously. Oh my god. Roll a death save, please. Twelve. Okay, one that's one success. success. Mark it in. Mark it in. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, yeah. Cool. All right. Next in initiative. Uh, Professor, make a constitution saving throw, please, to avoid taking further cold damage. 16. With a 16, you manage to shake it off a little bit. Your, your draconic heritage just sort of starting to, like, ease through and... You're feeling okay at this point. You're still cold, but it's not its not hurting you at this point. Uh, you did just see a plume of fire in the distance. You don't know it's D22, but that's the only landmark you've seen in the recent seconds. What would you like to do? I think I would like to... I'm going to stay where I am and try and um, not... Uh, uh, basically, I would like to um, start pulling things out of my breastplate. Sure. I would like to take out my bedroll. I would like to take out a book. I presume I've lost like my staff that I was carrying. Roll a d20. It's going to be somewhere. Okay. Um, 12. The 12. Random stuff that was stuffed in. Uh, no, your staff, your staff is, is oh, still nearby. Okay. Um, but your ring oh. Oh. is gone. Oh. I'm going to... Basically, I would like to create a platform of staff, bedroll, random books, random bits of paper, and I'm just trying to get off the snow. Okay. I'm just trying to put an insulated layer between me and the snow. Cool. Great. For the sake of brevity, we're going to move out of initiative. Don't worry, we'll get to we'll get to more death saves at this point, but we'll go through them one by one. So, uh, first of all, um, we'll go we'll go from the top again. Uh, D22. Mm-hmm. You are at the bottom of a hole. What would you like to do? <laughs> It's sixty feet deep, isn't it? Sixty feet, give or take. Because my um, my jumping perk only allows me to triple my jumping, doesn't it? So it's not enough. To get out. <coughs> no, it, it it's not enough to to immediately leap out, but it would make getting out easier if you want to Amazing. go that route. I believe you still have expeditious retreat up as well. Mm-hmm. That is Ooh. still active, Tasty. and that helps me climbing as well as it increases your speed. So it would. If you wanted to have more of a run-up, for example, then maybe you could work something in there like that. I'll, I'll, I'll give you a bonus to the DC on that front. Okay, let's do that. Yeah, I'll try and jump out the hole, please. Cool. Uh, make an athletics check then for me, please, with Ooh. advantage, because you've got an expeditious you. retreat up. Thank you. <laughs> advantage, in fact, I'm going to do... Yeah, I think it's 16. What bonus for the... That's it, that's straight 16. Cool. With that, you, you step and you step and you sort of go round and round and round and then, uh, Professor, you, you see D22 sort of come up and land 
on the snow in front of you, looking very worse for wear, full of snow. Um, and I have to say, uh, Guy, can you roll a d20 for me, please? Yep. Straight roll. Uh, straight roll. 16. The 16. Okay. Uh, one moment, please, call one. <laughs> you, you quickly check yourself over. Everything seems accounted for, except for your moral compass. <gasps> Let's be fair, it went before. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Let's be fair, he didn't use it anyway. You look up, checking yourself over, and you, you see a D22 frantically searching himself. We're going to come back to that. Uh, back to the top. What would you like to do? Milo. Um, Milo's just going to start shout, anyone, anyone up here? And start frantically looking around for any of her friends. Great. Make a perception check, please. Oh, that's extremely good. Uh, oh, 26. Yes. Of course it is. Babe. With a 26, mm. the dust is starting to You realise you haven't moved. You managed to stay firmly where you were. Oh, feel. You see the cliff where Mayweather was. And to be fair, my body is still up there. She doesn't see the body. She just sees the cliff. Can this I see anything else? Anything else? Uh, at this distance, no. You see the cliff where Mayway was. You see sheer white, the rocks and everything else that were there before, now completely covered in snow. You are elevated by a good 120 feet from where you were earlier. You all got swept up. You don't see Alexi. You don't see Zask. You don't see D22. You don't see Mayway. You know, based on how well you rolled, that Alexi went that way, away from the cliff. But you don't know if he's okay or not. I mean, yeah, I guess that was, yeah, based on that being the only thing I have any idea about at the moment, she'll probably head in that direction. Okay. there's no way, like, <laughs> Sorry, she can't see Mayway up there. Not at this distance, She no. just knows that's where you were. The only thing she might know is where Alexi's gone, because if she can't see the plume of flame or anything as well, like, she'll just You didn't see away. any of that, Yeah, no. cool, in that case, she'll She can't head. even see, like, a pit of, like... You know, the big old circle that is the hole that was created. I assume by. they're well what, away okay. somewhere because they no. got hit before us. I'm fishing. I'm fishing. <laughs> yeah, we don't know how far we've travelled. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Milo will just start heading in the direction that she thinks so that has gone. Towards Rose, for one of the better Towards words. Rose. Cool. Um, Great. But not towards Mayway. But not you... towards Mayway, and she'll just be yelling the whole time. Okay. You set off. Come to me. I'm not dead. too loudly. <laughs> Fair dues. <laughs> Alexi. Yeah. Uh, you're still buried. Yeah. Another five points of cold damage. Top. Um, I'm not going to make you roll. You managed to dig yourself out. <coughs> make a perception check. <coughs> Six. You don't see or hear anything. Fix your fucking dice. They don't, that's not how probability works, okay? You don't see anything. You see nothing but a blanket of white and distant distant mountains on an otherwise quite clear, now getting towards sunset sky. You are alone. Well, Lord Costaf, you've well and truly done it now. Um, <laughs> okay, that is good. Uh, now I'm just going to lift oh, up shit. the shield while it... As a, as a beacon? Absolutely. Yeah. Not a problem. Roll a d20 for me. Four. Your flask is gone. Oh, God! <laughs> Not the food bank, I just smudged my glasses as well. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, someone's gonna fucking die. Anyway, <laughs> make a death save. I can't believe you broke your rule. Um, so, He's thank doing you. It for dramatic thank attention. you. Thank you. Roll the death save. <gasps> <gasps> no. Boom! Yeah. Oh, natural one. Yeah. I thought it was a nat 20. Nope. Okay. Two fails. Two fails, one success. You know, and the, funny the hilarious thing is, thing is that she just whispered to me, oh, I hope I get a natural one because it'll be tense. <laughs> Rose, <laughs> you're the architect of your own demise at this point. At this point, I'm not even going to mourn. <laughs> like, you walk straight into it. I mean, oh, I can't talk, but still. <laughs> okay. Do you want to put him in there? But sweetie, you've done so well. It, it's the price we pay for the net twenty we got before with Zask, so I feel like yeah, that's fair. It, the dice don't give up and take them. They balances. really do. Checks and balances. Okay. Thank you. Sorry. Professor and D twenty two. You come together. 
Both exhausted. Both worse for wear. The floor is yours. What happens next? Can I, can I just ask, now that we're on top of the snow, and like, I've shaken myself off, are we still making... Are we still in danger of freezing to death? At this point, no. No, okay. But okay. it is getting dark, and it is oh, getting okay. cold. You're not out of the woods okay. yet. But the initial, the initial danger has passed. I have a rather horrible feeling inside my chest. <laughs> what? I, 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 I've broken. Are you damaged? Are you broken? I have tape. Um, I'll get the tape. Don't I panic. Think, I've I got think, the tape. I think maybe in I've some got... way I am, I am, I am slightly broken. Uh, right. Right. Okay. Um, <clears throat> she did so well. So. Yeah. I'm just gonna tape. <laughs> I'm just putting tape. Based on my understanding of, 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 the, of the human experience, the feeling I feel. Do you have anything to fix? Guilt. <laughs> oh, tape fixes guilt. I'm dead. I'm dying. I'll try some more tape. <laughs> <laughs> is that, is that... By any chance, have you seen a compass laying around here? I, just, I don't. I don't feel like that's the priority. But no, I can't. No, no. Um, where is everyone? They're dead. We're going to die. Do you still have um, your map? Okay. To the Titan. <laughs> yes. Uh, Do you have any food? Food? I can check my inventory. <laughs> uh, I can offer you a fancy hat. <laughs> um, Would you like a fancy hat? Yes. Yes, I please. Right, he's not trying to sell it. <laughs> wow. It's got a lovely peacock feather you in don't it. It's, need it's a nice, moral compass it's, it's a now. green velvet trim with a long peacock no, I mean, feather. It's not as warm away. as your current hat you were wearing. Over the top. You you, you 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 squeeze it on it tears a little bit but yeah you've now got two hats at the same time. Do you it's, have it's a vibe. One of your items? Um, I, I, I lost a, a few things in the, in the, the, the snow. Ah, what did you lose? I, 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 a ring. A ring. What was the ring like? <laughs> I don't. What do you mean? What was it like? I, it had some little hands. I was like like hands on the, on it. What colour was it? Black. black have you seen? Have you got my ring? Have you? Have uh, you got? Have you got my ring? Do you, do you try to um, still trying to process what happens? Just turns away slightly. He's got one one more use of his fire breath. We're gonna take out a gold signet ring from his locker that he has inside him, mixed with a small crystal. Um, Go on. Uh, just just with a little a little a little sorry inscription and some hands badly done like a child and just kind of breathe into it to make it and just going to hand it over looking relatively proud of himself not knowing why he's done it but his guilt is relieved slightly I made you a replacement also that's going to be hot as fuck <laughs> <laughs> you take 12 points of fire damage no 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 it's, it's hot to the touch and it's a little it's a little melty but your draconic like background it's actually it's okay Unfortunately, I am prioritized to. Uh, I, I am programmed to prioritize myself in moments of danger. It was nothing personal. <laughs> I I quite understand. I too, in that moment, was rather prioritizing myself. Fantastic. I feel like we we did what we could do, and we, as the as the two smartest members of the group, are the ones who have survived. <laughs> Absolutely. Speaking of which, where are the other group members? Have you seen them? And as you confer and discuss about your next steps, um, Alexi and Myla, if you would both like to make perception checks, please, to see. Ooh, that was a one. Seven. Fifteen. Okay. With a fifteen, you wander through, still no sign of any of your friends, still walking towards the direction Alexi went. You hear no sight or sound. Um, if there's anything you would like to do with magic or anything else, you are welcome to have a try before we go to potentially the last death save. Uh, um, All I can do is hold the shield up as some kind of beacon. Cool. Oh, that doesn't... No, I was considering casting fairy fire on myself to, like, make myself obvious. <clears throat> but I don't... Th Think like it's only within a ten foot radius. Um, I, yeah, I believe that Myla is very perceptive. Alexi is going to take the copper helmet. Yes. Throw it up into the air. Yep. And try and shine the um, 
shield on it. Okay, make uh, an attack roll using your dexterity modifier to see if you can get like it high enough and like angle yep. it to do that. Oh my god, David! Just, just, just go on, move on. <laughs> it was a six. You throw it. You're still very cold and very sore, and you just can't get the height on it. it you can try again in the next round. Then I'll be good. Yeah, screw it. I'll cast Fairy Fire on myself. Okay. To sort of like try and. Cool. Which means the next up. round will be a lower DC for both yep. of you as it gets darker. <laughs> yeah. You Mayway. also have advantage to try and hit me. <laughs> Mayway. <laughs> Lying cold in the snow, darkness is beginning to creep. I need you to make a death saving throw for me, please. What do you have to, what do you have to roll? Above a ten. Above a ten. One to nine, death. With triple advantage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. I'm just not going to look. character to die. I fail. Okay. My way. Lying in the snow, feeling it settle in as the sun sets, as a shadow comes across your vision and your eyes blur looking into the setting sun, you see the moon of Raleigh in the distance and Something relaxes in your minds. There's one thing that comes at the close, it's clarity. You find yourself thinking clearly for perhaps the first time in a long time, and memories come hurtling back. You're not sure if it's physical or mental that's, that's caused this, but your mind becomes whole once more. You remember what the library took from you, what it took. You remember what the price of your servitude was. And as you lie there in the cold, dying, what are the final thoughts of Mayway as she passes on? I summon my echo. She appears in front, um. standing in front of the now empty grave site where the other echoes once stood. She isn't dancing, this time she is solemn and watching you, but looks very familiar. And I look at her. And now I, I know why she doesn't look like me. And as the light begins to grow dark. I smile at her. She smiles back. Rary. I did something stupid. She smiles. She takes your hand and the world goes dark. As Maui lost Narema, passes away. Um, and I think we're going to take a quick break there, just to process for a second. Uh, we'll be back in a minute. Thank you so much. Greetings, peasants. Alexi Karstav here. I uh, hope you're enjoying watching me in the show. I'm doing a fantastic time this week. No, uh, we wanted to thank the people who all make the show so great. Oh, God's sake. Uh, yes, 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 there is, uh, there is Erin Gray who did a truly beautiful rendition of My Lovely Face. And everyone else. Uh, and, and them. Uh, there is Michael G Gelf Gelfi. I do this every time. Gelfi. Gelfi, yes. He does the, uh, the very heroic music that you see me being very handsome in. 
Finally, uh, who else do we have? We've got... There's Sticky Fingers, who does all the amazing maps that we get to fight on, or sometimes not fight on and immediately leave. Um, there's Loki Fellows, who also does amazing episode art, and she does all the show animations, which is, like, super, super talented. We also have that, uh, the, the social media sorceress, uh, Tanya Garamani. What is it with people and titles? Honestly, it's so gauche. And uh, we also have Jeffa and Nate doing their uh, technical wizardry behind the scenes. There are links for absolutely everyone in the description. So you should go check them out because they're all awesome and really so much more talented than we are. Uh, I mean, than you. <sighs> Maybe Lost Arena succumbed to the avalanche. Dying at the sunset, at the gravesite of her people set up by the sadistic cave, cave, cave fury. She lay passing as she recognised her sister, Rari, who came to her as her echo in her last moments before taking her beyond the veil. We now return to the rest of the party, unbeknownst of their comrades' recent demise as they attempt to find each other and figure out their next steps. What happens next? I am continuously chucking this copper helmet in the air and shining <laughs> on it with a shield. Oof. Milo wants to get a better viewpoint, mm -hmm. so she's going to cast Enlarge on herself. Great. I'm also shining <laughs> with fairy fire, so hopefully that gives me a good... Like a vision, <laughs> the sheer sight of Mila crossing the horizon, beaming against the low sun as the night begins to set in. You see this <coughs> flickering light appearing in the air every now and then, but you see Mila in all her fairy fire glory, larger than life, stomping towards you. Great, I am going to run in her direction because A, that's going to keep me warmer and B, it's going to shake off a lot of snow off my body. Cool. Um, yep, yeah, uh, full movement, switch off the can thing. Can I see yeah. him? Yeah. Can. can I look round now that I have a high viewpoint? Mm -hmm. Can I see anyone else? Make a perception check. See me, I can't see me. use guidance because I don't did enlarge, or can I? Yeah, you can. we're out of initiative. If you want to, yeah, go Biff, for it. guidance. What was it? It's a one. You, you look around. Which, with my perception, is like a nine plus <laughs> some other things. All you see is a very cold Alexia running towards you. Alexia! <laughs> uh, don't have time. Um, where, 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 where are the others? I don't know. Right, why, why is your speech slower? I, you're, you're just bigger. I don't understand. <laughs> I'm really tall. Yes, but you don't need to do when <laughs> the tall what you're putting it on. Right. <laughs> um, best thing we can probably do is head back to where uh, the, the, the the we were. If uh, Mila turns around and starts, you, you know the direction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I. Uh, Alexia's going to also run quickly. Sure. Yeah. Great. If you catch up to me, I can probably give you a ride. <laughs> oh, I mean, yeah, I move with a I'm, dash, I move 70 I'm feet. So. very tall. <laughs> right? Uh, you both make your way back in the direction. Um, still, like, there's enough light you can see pretty clearly, but cool. you both know it's going to get cold quite soon. Yep. Can um, I see these two or Mayway yet? Um, not yet. We're going to jump Kay. to the other two, having a discussion about what they want to do. Mr... Mr. D22, mm -hmm. am I am I right in thinking that you're you're not uh, very familiar with this concept of feelings and emotions and those kind of silly things? These are all new, very new feelings for me. Yes. Right, right. Well, try and damp down on that, because that it's not going to help. You think it's not good to feel emotions? Well, I mean, if you have the option not to, because right now, um, there is a high possibility that all of the uh, people who you were previously travelling with are in fact deceased. Mr. Mr. D22, so, I, I, so dampen down on the emotions, don't. Do, is, do, is Mac loading eyes again? Cool. Um, 
and then can I shoot my hat off? My homunculus servant, like a drone, just up in the air. Absolutely. And I want to scan. I've, I've disconnected a little bit from the conversation. The hat's cool. <laughs> up to ideally try and search as wide, either understand where I am or mm-hmm. what's around mm-hmm. me. Go for it. Are you are you casting? Uh, is that a spell, or are you just sending it out to do a check for you? Mm. Let me check. I think. Yeah, that's that's fine. Can I do it as an arc? Can I do it as a spell? Um, no, but we'll do um, we we'll do a perception check. Yeah, using your perception, that's completely fine. Cool. Seventeen. Seventeen. It does. It does a lap. Um, but it doesn't see anything. It does a proper full range. There's no sign of where you were. You're in completely unfamiliar territory from where you were previously. All you see is just snow from the avalanche, just in waves and pockets and mounds, but you don't see the cliffs, you don't see anything from where you were before. You are completely separate. You have been sent quite a distance. Oh, I, 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 I cannot, 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 cannot afford to lose my friends. My friends are all I have now. Where are they? Where have they gone? Where, where do you know where we are? Uh, well, um, avalanche is a... Uh... Uh, very powerful and, and dangerous, and we are very lucky to have just somehow survived that. And I think right now we should we should focus on on uh, not dying. Um, no, we are we are both not dead. We are fine. We are healthy. Maybe not so stealthy now, but we are relatively healthy. Uh, Perhaps we find everybody else. Do you else. eat? Oh, you're fine. I do not need to eat, no. Right, I need to eat, and do you do you feel the cold? Not particularly, although it does okay. damage me. Well, it's nearly night, and, and, um, yes, I'm just a bit worried. I might die, um, which, which I'm not, I'm not too keen on, um. What can I do to stop you from dying? Uh, well, um, I, I, making some sort of shelter. Mm-hmm. Where we can spend the night. Check in inventory. Be a oh right. Looking, you you know you've probably got about an hour before the sun sets properly. Would you like another fancy hat? I'll I'll swap you the hats. This one didn't really help, but the other one might. Who knows? Um, I haven't got anything you can sleep in, unfortunately. Would you like to look for shelter then? I I think that would be sensible. Now I also have uh, uh, ability to locate an item. Okay. If you what item are you looking? I'm not looking for an item, but if there's an item that you well, I am looking for an item. Obviously, the Titan. Yes, with the hold with the Titan and everything. That's fine. That's can, you, can, you, can, right you, can you can you can you identify an item of my friends? I could probably do that, Dep- uh, depending if I've seen it, if... Can you think of an item you've seen that my friends are holding that perhaps we could use to locate my friends? The Titan is of lesser importance. Are you... are you sure? Yes. Why? I feel lighter in some ways. My moral compass is no longer with me and I feel a inner surge. Of morality. <laughs> and this morality oh. says that that your friends are more important than than this Im, Im, epic and immense historical find that... As but, frustrating as my worrying finds this, for some reason it is true. Well, <laughs> I just don't want you to be too... If we find them, you understand that they may not be... That is fine, as long as we know, as long as we find them first. Right. Um, what, what have I seen them with? Weapons, like you've got a staff, Milo's got a staff, maybe mm-hmm. we had a big flaily thing. Yep. <laughs> Lexi has a long coat. <laughs> <laughs> Don't care about that. I mean, you have nailed you it, would have, he does have yeah, a long coat. You would have seen, you would have seen like, you know, <clears throat> Milo is basically, what you see on Milo is what Milo has, so a staff. Mm. A sickle. Cyril is also fine, by the way. Just, just, just in case anyone was worried, Cyril is fine. Um, I'm gonna, um, yeah, yeah. Uh, the flask. You would have seen Alexi's flask as well. I'm going to cast locate object on the staff. Okay. I feel like it's a bloody great stick that you keep carrying. Around. Sure. What's the range on that? I might not even know. If she, she, wait, I, I, she might have dropped it. There was an avalanche. Something that's what's something that was sort of 
tied to them that wouldn't be lost, you know? Hmm. My friend Baywei had a large chain. A large, yeah, but she was, wasn't, she that, she, wasn't she carrying that? It seemed to emanate from her somehow. She's not built like I am, so I'm confused by the process. I say, the chain came out of her body. It was very cool. Oh. Well, it is very cool. I have no prior knowledge of what's happening. <laughs> okay, okay, right. Well, I, I can try that. Sure. You cast locate object, focusing that, on... That big chain thing that apparently cool. is attached. Uh, it's, a th- it's a thousand feet. thousand feet? You don't get a ping. Don't get it. Fuck. Oh, it's... It is Wherever not it is, within the range. It's nowhere near us. We, we could wander in random directions. Uh, You've got it up for 10 minutes it, if you want to try and go in a direction, but that is... Uh, 10 minutes is not going to take Can you do multiple time. items? Um, no. No. That was my... No, that was my, also my last... My last... Uh, mm-hmm. Was it? No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. Oh, uh, I'm out, I'm afraid. Ow. Um, I'm going to... Can I shoot my flamethrower up in the air? You absolutely can. Yeah, it's a bonus section, but if I just do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not on an initiative. Just you want to do that? Go for it. Cool. <laughs> you shoot a jet of flame into the sky. Um, yeah, that's 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 a nice move. I'll let you guys run a perception check if you would like. It's a very high DC. Sure. Uh, Milo, you can also make a perception check. Nice try. Spot it. <laughs> Sixteen. Natural twenty, for a grand total of twenty-eight on perception. Okay, with a natural twenty, just. In the corner of your vision, you see just the tiniest, like, someone lit a match and then snuffed it out in the far, far opposite direction of where you're heading. So we were heading back towards... So yeah, you're heading, heading this way. Yeah. It's, like, oh, way, no. way the hell over there. Oh, no. Like, you just see it. It's, like, you just catch, like, and it's gone. Like, like a candle in the wind. Good song. Okay. Myla, with her extremely tall... <laughs> loud <laughs> megaphone voice. <laughs> really? You have to do it again. <laughs> Hello out there! A third avalanche starts to yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's me! Cool. Hello! <laughs> sure, make a perception check. So ask in D22. We... To see if you can hear anything. <laughs> 12. Plus? No, it's just 12. 12, 12, 12, 12. 12. Come on, come on, come on. Hi, 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 hi. Hi, no. 11. You yeah. don't hear a thing. Mm. Hello. Oh, oh, oh. You, you saw something. I thought I saw... I mean, sorry. <laughs> I thought I saw... <laughs> I thought I saw a light. Right. Um. Okay, well, you know where we're going. It's just in this direction. They don't. So why don't you go... If, if that is them, I mean, who else is going to be? There's just fucking snow around here. Uh, 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 and and I'll, I'll meet, meet you um, by the snow elves. Okay. I'll I'll go. Milo's going to take off running. And Alexia's is going to light. keep sprinting towards the snow elves. The snow elves. Yeah. So you're going towards these guys? Yeah. And you're going towards... Okay. Yeah. It takes some time. It takes more than a minute, is what I'm saying. Mm. So, Alexei, we'll start with you. You sprint and you run, and it's getting a bit darker and a bit darker. The snow is deep, and your knees slip in and out every now and then. But eventually you sort of start to recognize just small (coughs) tips of cylinders, a couple just on the horizon. And you're smart enough to realize that these look like the Ithobark trees where they were tied up. At least this is the last place you saw Mayway before the avalanche hit. Okay. What would you like to do? Um, get a, yeah, go to the sort of like very top, the last place I saw Cool. You run up, Ithelbark, one or two dead snow elves remain. I need you to make an investigation check, please, to see if you can see anything. Twelve. With the twelve, you, you, you dig around and you, you, you're looking frantically, you're digging snow away and you, you dig up one snow elf. It's a tattoo down their face, male, slightly cut eyebrow. It's not male. You check another one, this one, with still like the Rylanthium crystal snapped off, but still on their chest, like clearly, clearly dead. You get to the third one and you get on your knees and you see the familiar cheeky smile. And as you dig away, you see Mayway's 
lifeless eyes open, staring at the setting sun. Dead. But, happy. Uh, Alexi is going to um, just quickly just try and pull her out of the snow. Um, she's cold and stiff and yeah. already the body's starting to freeze despite the snow off by all of you. She's very yeah. cold to the touch. Uh, and he's just going to close his eyes. Uh, please work. And is going to embrace the body mm -hmm. and attempt to bestow the, the gift of the Raven Queen. Go for it. I need you to make a persuasion check, first of all. <sighs> Charisma's minus two, Matt. <laughs> yep. That would be an 11. You hear... In, in your head... I'm sorry, my child, but... This one is already beyond my reach. You were too late. Another one, maybe. What? What? Why, why, I, I, why, would, why would you give me this if I, 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 I can't? I don't. If not now, then when? Silent. And Alexi's just gonna sit with Mayway in his arms. She lies draped across, eyes still staring at the sky. Myla, you run, and before long, actually, what are you two talking about before? <clears throat> um, hopefully someone sees the, the fire in the sky. Yes. Well, let's make plans for in case they don't, for whatever reason, mm -hmm. and... I don't can... need to sleep, so if you want to sleep, you're more than welcome. I can look after you. You're going to... I can keep watch. You're not going to leave me? No. I have stopped being so... disloyal. I... I... I appreciate, I appreciate you looking out for me and, and I do appreciate how much you, you know, care for these uh, colleagues, um, friends of yours. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to try not to freeze to death now. And I'm basically gonna, um, yeah, try and find slash construct a place to stay the night. Sure, make a survival check for me, please. Sixteen. Sixteen. Okay. With the sixteen, you, you, you scan the horizon and you do see um, what appears to be uh, an, an outcropping. Um, uh, one moment, please. Uh, 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 what looks like once quite a fine watchtower, um, but now buried and sort of sitting at an obtuse angle in the snow. Um, it is quite a distance away, but it's the only source of any sort of shelter you can see for miles. And it's raised up? It's raised up out of the ground, maybe 30 or 40 feet, sticking out of the snow at a, about a 45 degree angle, like it's been knocked over, but is sitting. Ah, let just make our way there. And um, if you want to, um, I'm going to touch uh, like D22's hand and make it, um, and cast light, basically. Cool. Um, I, you you could climb up the top and just sort of wave around. Yeah. You like see the on the. I have an idea. If I may transfer that light just to. The I can absolutely warm it, and yeah. just just have him out, almost like a SOS beacon, cool. just kind of ringing, like going haloing over the top of the watchtower. And Milo, you wandering the direction, you see this almost lighthouse, this small like. Doo. Doo. Hello. And you both hear this. Hello. I'm here, it's me, it's Myla. Uh, Myla, My, where, well, Myla, where are you? In this direction. Follow the lights. <laughs> okay. 
you, you both, for the sake of brevity, <laughs> you both find each other pretty quickly. I mean, Myla's hard to miss with the giant Myla that, that, that she is and the light coming through. Myla, you have made yourself into a titan. Yes. Well, I'm, I'm glad you're okay. Yeah, I'm glad you're okay too. And you're, you're, ever, you're okay. I'm alive. You're alive. Yeah. It's a miracle. Great. Um, I found Alexi as well. Um, oh, where is Alexi? Alexi is alive too? Alexi is alive. Amazing. Um, Zas was telling me all my friends are dead, <laughs> but you are lying. I, well, yeah, I, I didn't. The odds weren't in your favor. We'll return to this. I'm very day. happy. She was very negative. <laughs> he, thank you. Yes, all day. It's all good. <laughs> Come on, we need to find Mayway. We haven't found Mayway yet. Alexi went off to go look at the cliff thing. Okay, and he's not back yet? No, no, well, he said he'd meet us there. Okay. Sure. <laughs> Are we going? We're walking? Oh, we going. Okay, cool. Alexi. Hang on, Was ask. Yeah, well, <clears throat> okay, we could come back here to sleep because uh, we yes, might not so. freeze to death, so just... Oh, okay, I'll remember where this is. Just as an option. You're the one with the berries, aren't you? Ah, uh, yes, Ask needs to eat. I love eating. It helps me not die. Yeah, not dying's good. Yes! I, I, I very much feel that today. Yes, just... Just wanted to make sure we all have that on our radar as a, as a thing to do. Do you have food for them, or a, perhaps a potion? Um, I, I don't have food on me right now, but we'll, we can, we can get some. That'll be fine. Okay. Um, okay, let's, let's... I am caring. <sighs> hmm? I am yeah, caring. wait, what? Yeah. It, Okay. Did you did you knock your head? Like Myla's like moving at this point. Yeah, yeah, right. Okay, so just, just to yeah, check yeah. that we're not staying at the watchtower, no, we're just we're just booking about all three. Oh, we're yeah, I'm not quite staying vigorously by myself. In the, uh, in the snow. Food okay. Did you? Yeah. Did you? Did you get hit in the head at any point? The, a few times. Yes. A few. Times. Okay, that dent, could be it. A couple of dead large dents. Oh, okay. Just, <laughs> and he's smiling a bit warmer yeah. than oh, usual. Okay. Myla's gonna be like, we'll buff those out. And as you as you walk and talk, Alexei. Yeah, I was going to say, for the sake of brevity, after kind of just a minute and a very, very deep exhale, uh, Alexi will lift Mayway up and start walking in the direction you saw a mile ago. Okay. Do you... Cool. Do I want... Um, do you pick up any of her weapons or anything? Yes, he would have gathered all her okay. stuff as well, just like cool. throwing the pack over his shoulder. Great. Carrying her. Cool. Not a problem. So you pick up and you slowly trudge. And yep. it's hard and it's heavy. Yeah. Your foot kicks something as as you walk. Um, it's it's a sign buried in the snow. The sign reads: "Maywe lost Narama. Buried in an avalanche after walking into an obvious trap. Foolish." <clears throat> and looking around, there are several others with different different descriptions on them. Zeno Reichme failed while attempting infiltration through Green Basin channels. Pathetic. Oliver Yesquin slaughtered while command commandeering a convoy en route to Erist. Naive. Ison Lorisus framed when investigating past academic attacks in the Val. Careless. And each one listing off how apparently Sarek caught them and Sarek's one dismissal of this person, each one labelled, each dead body at your feet that you leave behind, named and shamed. And you carry on trudging forward to see Myla trudging with a D22 and Zask under the shoulder just as you come together. Yes, sorry. Just before that, after seeing the sign, uh, Alexi is going to kind of just lift his head up. Are you watching? I, I, I know you talked to her, so you talked. So you must be watching. Are you watching now? The silence is cold and uncaring. I'm going to tear your throat out with my teeth and walk and the four of you come together to see Alexi carrying the dead Mayway in his arms does she need healing have you got a healing potion she's she, it's too late 
I can maybe bring her back. I... It's too late. I'm gonna kill that dwarf. Yes, yes, I imagine we, uh, we rather are. <clears throat> but uh, we have to, we have to prioritize right now and we are currently um, rather lost. And it's There's going. a watchtower back there. Then we'll head towards that. Find refuge. The rest of you all right. D Trencher just looks at the <clears throat> looks at his feet. Alex like, is going to take Mayway's pack off his shoulder and hold it to you. Um, I, would you please take this? All of it's very heavy. Which way? This way. Keeps walking, holding Mayway. Cool. Takes you some time. Uh, the enlarged spell wears off. And you arrive, now with night in full swing, back at the watchtower. Uh, who is leading? As you arrive, your foot kicks something at the base of the tower. And uncovering it, you see the frozen dead corpse of a male human, some fine furs, a small short bow on his back. It sucks to be this guy. You walk inside, and... Despite the snow filling most of the chamber, it is relatively intact. Um, the snow has dampened most of what was inside, but you find the remains of a once warm fire, a couple of goats that were midway through being, through being butchered, and a dis, a, um, an oil lantern that had been put out sitting on a chest, and a large falchion, quite long, sitting against the wall and amongst a few other bits, an old bedroll. Seemingly the campsite of whoever it was out front. Any more blankets or furs? Uh, you can make an investigation check if you want to rummage through, sure. Can I assist with that? Absolutely. Thank you. <laughs> 17. Yeah, well, the 17, you find a couple of blankets extra. Nothing, nothing too great. It seems only fit for one person, but a couple of wool blankets sitting. Quite happy. Is the door functioning? Is There's the door no door. It's There's been no completely door. knocked off. It's all open. There's a bit of a draft coming through, but you are out of the way of the elements at this point. I am um, happy to take watch first. It's m more likely that they'll attack now. So we should stay on alert. Yeah. We should. Would you want me to join you in the watch? Watches should definitely be two, yes. Okay. Can you... I'm going to set alarm. Uh, he's... Gently lays Mayway down, mm -hmm. puts one of the blankets covering her, and Alexi will go over to Myla and just. Can I have a minute out outside? Sure. I'm gonna walk outside. This isn't your fault. We could have done something. Stopped her going up there. We didn't have to come this way. I could have told her 
her friend wasn't up there. Then she wouldn't have gone up there. So maybe it is my fault. It was my idea. If you need to blame someone for this, then I'll accept it, but the fault is not on you. Why would I blame you? Sarek did all of this. Yes, and we're going to kill him. Yeah. But one thing, above all else, we need to remain focused. His... His merit, his advantage, is that we are emotionally impaired. We will charge blindly and he is counting on it. I can assure you, Alexi Alexi Karstev, this is the most focused I have ever been. Good. If I could have saved her, I would. It really was too late. Who's taking first watch? While that conversation was happening, can yes, I please. Check to D22. I'm gonna just sort of wander over. How's it coming with those um, emotions then? It's a weird one to process. I feel like there are too many things firing off in my head to really understand the gravity of the situation. I feel a tremendous sadness. For for those of us who are less uh, well-designed than yourself, it often takes a little bit of time. How long time are we talking? Oh, um, well... A day, probably be fine tomorrow. <laughs> How long till she comes back? Ah, so that's the other thing about those of us who are less well designed than yourself or a titan, say, you know, pinnacle of engineering. We uh, we don't come back. It's uh, very much permanent. Irreplaceable parts, you see. You can't, you can't get she the parts. Find, she will find another arm and ear. Still come back. You can change your legs and arms quite easily. It's true. So you change her head. True. I didn't want to touch her now, but she, maybe not today, but next week she comes back. There are internal components that are very complicated. I don't know. I don't know what will happen. Uh, who can say? I, I don't think you should uh, be waiting for that, though. What happens to her body? Well, you have to ask. Uh, that, uh, that, um, that long coat chap may be smarter than I had previously given him credit for, so... Maybe. It's slightly less intelligent than I am. Well, you're very, well, a lot less than you, but more than perhaps the, you know, complete lowest bar, which I had assumed. I, I want to, I think you should have this. And I'm going to hand you the, the tape of mending. Maybe it'll help, maybe it won't. Maybe you'll feel differently tomorrow. Maybe you won't, but you can be fixed, and and we can go on. My head and my chest feels cloudy. Stick some tape on them. He has a really badly the tapes around his head. Go on. 
you want the eyelids caught in it. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, wrap, you wrap the tape in it, it sets in for a minute, and then it glows for a moment, and you feel those bumps in your head, so... Your eye repairs itself a little bit as it casts mending, and you slowly build yourself, excuse me, back up. Amazing. Can I, um, can I crash into Mayway's body? You may. And I see... What's the, the name of her weapon that she has? The, the flail? The, yeah, the long, the, the long chain. Yeah. Am I able to lift that from her? Yeah, absolutely. Um, in a tender way. It's not theft. It's loving theft. Um, and I'll say... Um, uh, Mayway, you are like what I understand a sister to be like to me, and you guided me in difficult times, and I will always be grateful for that. And I promise you, whether it's me or my friends, our friends, I will drive this into Sarek's skull for you. And he's just going to put it into his chest, lock it, and then just pace around the room. Cool. Zask, anything else you'd like to do? I'm going to go to sleep and ignore all of the emotions happening that I want no part of. Cool. The evening goes off without a hitch, but unless there's any other conversation that either of you wouldn't like to happen. For the sake of brevity, you are undisturbed. Morning comes around, bleak, grey and sad. But the day is yours. You all get a long rest. What happens next? Myla's gonna go up to D22. D, I know you don't like giving other people things, um, but could I have the diamonds? Yeah, D22 just, just, the chest just opens up. Thank you. Um, that way, if, if this happens again, I'll, I'll, I can, I can get to any of you, and I can hopefully fix it. Alexi, make a wisdom saving throw. Yep. Who's <laughs> gonna eat me? Sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna uh. again. You're always in danger of me. Oh, 13. damn. 13. Okay, cool. Thank you. That's all. Glad Zas doesn't know about that. Um, Alexi will have, since getting up, um, looking over the body. M Myla, I. We, we will confess to not um, knowing the appropriate uh, how death is handled in your culture. Uh, what 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 would what would be appropriate? We should try and take her back home. I guess I should. Try and get in touch with her family. We, we will get in touch. Not, no one of us assumes this burden. We all do. <sighs> sure, I meant more practically. It's probably easier for me. They'd maybe be more likely to listen to another <sighs> yeah we should um we should take her with us how do you transport her she does not fit in the bag of holding no i i don't think we can I think if if we're to do 
anything here, then we we say goodbye and we finish her task. We can't leave her here alone. I... I don't believe that she is alone. When I found her, she she, she had a, 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 a s- smile on her face. She still does. A little cheek, the same cheeky smirk. I think that Mayway, our Mayway, is... She's resting now, that's... That's a body. And it's a body that we know where it is. We know where this place is. So we'll come back for her? Yes. Or we can send, tell her people where she is. But we... We are going to go and fight this... We're going to go and kill that man, and we can't, we need to be at our best. D22's eyes turn red. Where do, when do we find him? Where do we kill him? We keep heading toward the mine. But, To do this, we we need to be we need to be focused. So, if you have goodbyes to say, I think now is the time. I wish I knew who all the others were. I think Mayway cared about them, and I'd want to be able to tell their families. I saw the signs. I, 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 I can. Uh, yes. Alexi will try and write down as many names as he can remember sure. seeing in the signs. I'll let you I'll let you have that for free. You'll, yeah. You're smart enough to remember that. Yeah. And just so we can report it later. Yeah, I'll 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 share those with cool. you later, that's fine. Uh, I, I I can Ayun, she was always going on about going to Ayun to talk to the library, I guess. We should, I guess we should do that. We'll find an embassy. Zaski would know there is one in Green Basin. You want any, any uh, library? Uh, Any Temple of Ioun, I think. Green Basin is is an option for that. Okay. That's not too far. Okay. Um. So, Green Basin, after Sarek is dead. After Sarek is dead. I I uh, appreciate your uh, focus on focus. It's very 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 good at a time like this to have focus. To have um, focus. But I I I just I'm going to say this once because I feel it, it would be reticent of me not to say that uh, this uh, bad dwarf. Seems very dangerous, and uh, I wonder if perhaps the decisions that you are currently making to go and kill him aren't necessarily entirely motivated by logic, and that this is not the best time to be making those kind of decisions. Uh, And I would like you all to think carefully about what you think 
the next step right now really should be. Professor, you said you needed food and shelter in order to survive up here, right? My love. I, I'm, I'm not. I, I just want to... I'm just asking you to consider. I shall... I shall... Um, I shall keep my thoughts to myself in the future, but I merely wanted to put that forward and stand if you're not currently receptive to logic. This is not... That will not help. Professor Zask is correct. But also wrong. This is why we are here. This will be harder. But if any of us had fallen, she would do it for us. So I propose that we say farewell to undoubtedly the best person among us. And then we go and be the bad people we are at that ego maniacal murderous fuck. And Alexi is going to walk over to Mayway's body, um, place his hand on hers. So, you uh, ne never uh, had a friend before you? I didn't actually not like you. I, d I, d I don't. I don't know how to. If I had a sister, I would have liked it to be you. You'd be the one I choose. I don't really know how your god works, but um, I know you're somewhere better. And that's where you should be. And he will kiss her forehead and then walk outside. I'm going to go outside as well. Mila's going to just stay standing there. D22 uh, will just walk over. Um, <clears throat> and he will say, uh, I hope you remember to always, in the next world that you are in, to stay healthy and stealthy. And I will always think of you when it comes to doing something stupid. And I'm glad you got to do that on your way out too. And he's, um, just a tiny, tiny bit of oil just leaks out of the inner part of his eye. He doesn't know why, but he bats it away and turns and walks away. Um, once she is alone, Myla's going to walk up to Mayway and kneel down next to her. I'm so sorry. I was too much of a coward to talk to you about things. I know you really, you really wanted to, and it's my fault for not, not telling you things and not being able to talk to you. And I, I wish I could. But I'll, I'll always try to do the things that you would have done and I'll be braver in the future. And, and 
I'll make sure that all of this, I, I know it was important to you, so what I can fix, I'll fix. And I'm gonna bring you back that dwarf's ear. I'll see you around. And Milo will give her a hug. Maywe sits, resting, the same cheeky smirk on her face. Her body safe in the knowledge that her three, now four closest friends, have set her right for now. And as the four of you leave and step out, the cold grey morning, the clouds now being burnt away by a powerful sunrise, and you see quite clear the, the snow lifting you quite high up, giving you a bit of vantage point, and now with the bright of daylight, you notice two things. You see in the far distance, Frostrum. You see the roads, you see the tall mountain, you see your ultimate destination. The other thing, a bronze glint clap catches your eye and you look across and out of the way but resting on a top of another distant but not too far mountain, a large bronze metal construct resting against one of the peaks. As you see, for the first time laying your eyes on what appears to be your life's work reflecting the light directly into your eyes from a new day's sun. So the last thing I want to ask before you guys set off on your next step is what direction... what direction is the party taking? Do you see it? What is that? That's it. It's the Titan. It's the remains of once mighty creation that can be mighty again. The Titan! Yes. Professor, one very important question, and I would like a yes or no answer. Can you switch it on? Yes. Can you control it? Less of my research has yes been focused no. onto that. Yes, 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 of course, yes. That is what they were designed for. These creatures uh, of, of immense power were created, were, were created to fight uh, in, a, in a war against a, a frost giant. A frost giant. Uh, the, the, they were, they are, they were an immense, uh, weapon at the time. I have a small question. Uh, yes. Perhaps we could build me into a titan. I could be a mega titan and stamp on Staric's head. Uh, if, if, if I, not that it's not a fascinating idea. Then we become a mega army. Yes. Um, instead, I would like to propose something of an agreement. Right. We've helped you a lot. Forgetting the incident in the snow. It's... <laughs> I'm not dead, so there's that. You're not dead, and you've eaten. I, I liked the eating part quite a lot. I think if we're going to go after this man, we're going to need every bit of help we can get. So... Because you'll probably die. Yes, but if I'm going to die, I'd rather like to take a few people with me. So... Am I one of those people? Not if you fix the Titan. And make me the Titan. Let's put that as a distant plan B. Can you switch it on and use it to destroy that mountain? The, you want me to... a mountain? 
Just get him out. Or, or step on a single dwarf. I, I, that's, see, that's more achievable. I, I haven't researched Multiple the geological times. sort of mining applications no, I don't want to of the. Limit it, you know, I mean, I, I. It'll collapse all damage. It's. I do think with enough time, um, depending on the sort of structural integrity of the rock, if you were to do a survey of, of when. So you're going to have a matter of days. Right. And, um, to, okay. We're going to go and switch a Titan on and then bring about the apocalypse mm. on that shit. Mm. Are we all in agreement? Let's rip the top off that mountain and watch all of the vermin come crawling out as we squash them. Yes, let's! To the Titan, then. To the Titan! <sighs> and Alexi walks. Minor will walk. The four of you head towards the range, waiting to be greeted by a long, dead Titan blinking in the sun. And that's where we're going to end tonight's episode. <laughs> I, did not, I did not see that. Oh, okay. That was a turnaround. That was a twist. Okay. Ooh, that's a lot. <laughs> emotional. Oh. Rose, come here. <laughs> Rose. Rose. Oh, God. She's going to see. No, she's no. Gone. She's going to be there for the post show chat. Come here. No. Come here. No. Come here. So, thank you so much for watching. It's been a hell of an episode. Yeah. Ups and downs. Thank you all for watching. Thank you all for playing. Uh, and we'll see you in the next one. Kakita, take care. Look after yourselves. Bye, 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 bye.